Welcome to the ranking of all, well, I guess, 1,025 shinies that currently exist in the nine generations of Pokemon. We've done this before uh, on the channel. You can check that out. I ranked Pokemon based on my favorite. Today, we are ranking Pokemon strictly, not on competitive competitability, competitiveness, Competitiveness is a better word. Not on competitiveness, not on is this my favorite Pokemon. We are ranking this on what is my favorite shiny. What do I think looks the coolest, has the best vibe. Um, and I mean, let's be honest. Some of my favorites might end up in here because some of my favorite Pokemon also have really cool shiny variants. Um, my plan... As we go through this, we're starting with Generation 1 all the way through 9, and then we'll pick our favorite of each. I want to try and not, like, say if for Generation 1, say we pick Snorlax as our favorite shiny for normal. We probably won't. I don't also, well, I guess Snorlax is a single type. For Fire, if we choose Charizard as our favorite Fire type, I don't also want to choose Charizard as my favorite Flying type. Um, so that's kind of the plan. Try and keep one Pokey, like... Not multiple times appearing throughout it. So let's just jump into it. So as we click on these, it just shows us every normal type from Generation 1 with what their shiny variants look like. I personally immediately have a clear gut winner. We obviously prefer... I, I do prefer the neon green shinies. But of the normal types here... And I, I don't want to spend forever going through all of this. I don't want you to all be sitting here for like three hours being like oh my gosh what are we doing so i won't break down every individual shiny but some i will point out if i think they're awful persian meowth what are you doing what are you there's there's nothing different here jigglypuff what are you doing there's nothing different here ditto to me clear winner such a cool it's like a such a cool shiny variant um farfetch too that is true farfetch like even galarian farfetched is ugh. fire types we have some really cool fire types um, Charizard, I think, is pretty often a lot of people's, um, a lot of people's front runner uh, for different things. Um, oh, that's so exciting. Sorry, it's just, oh, it's not as exciting. Never mind. Sorry, I got my, our batting order for tonight, and I get really excited. Licky Tongue, I am a what that tongue do? I don't want to know what that tongue do. For the fire type... Charizard tends to be a lot of people's favorites. I honestly have more... I think Ninetales looks a lot cooler. Uh, Ponyta does. I honestly wish they kept, like, the blue fire for Rapidash, though. Uh, I, I really wish they do. Moltres, I feel like they could have done something cooler with as well. Uh, but I think here, I think it comes down to Charizard and Ninetales for me. And I think we gotta go Ninetales. Ninetales, you agree? I, it's, 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 it's it. Water types... Now, here, I think they... they a, a majority of these hit. Like, a good majority... I hate the Squirtle line. Like, the only change was, like, a slight coloration, and then their just shell turns green. And I love green. I do. I do. Uh, you say Starmie. Starmie's is rad. Um, I do like Lapras's purple. Big fan of Lapras's purple. Poliwhirl is another one that makes me so sad. I love Poliwhirl. I think it's such a, such a cute Pokemon... They failed the shiny. They failed the shiny so much. It makes me so sad. They fixed it with Polyrath and making it green. Uh, Kabo Kabutops, Cloyster, Magikarp. Magikarp is a solid one. Favorite color is black, so my favorite stars are absolutely fair. <laughs> and I, honestly, I think that's what it comes down to for a lot of people with shinies is also just like when your favorite color hits. Red Gyarados is overused. I feel like Red Gyarados is a lot of people's first shiny, right? I know it was my first shiny that I ever got playing through the Generation 2 games. Um, so, absolutely a good one. I, I think I do have to agree with you here, with you, uh, K-Dog. I think it is Starmie. Starmie's so sick. Big fan. Jumping into the grass types. Perseus, oh, hey, whoa, what? what? Are, you don't want me to do the grass types? No, Merlin's about to jump on a table and Percy's telling him not to. Of the grass types, we actually just had the community day for Bellsprout. Bellsprout, I, I don't love. I, I'm not a fan of it. Um, although, it, the, the sprites that we get here are not as good as they kind of look in, like, the 3D sprites. Uh, <laughs> what's Victory Bell's mouth doing? Let's not let's not worry about that. Perseus, can you go? Can you go to the other room? How about you go to the other room? He said no. 
I think here I'm just going to go Venusaur. I I'm a fan of Venusaur's um, change. Of, like, I think the most colors change here, and I, th I just think it looks rad. Electric. Pikachu is another one. Like, how is this the mascot of your company? Of your brand? And, it, and, and you know what? B maybe to that defense, maybe that's why Pikachu Shiny isn't that different, because it is so iconic in that yellowish color. Maybe that's why they didn't change it that much. Don't join Emerson on the dark side. I think here it's Voltorb, um, Electrode, or uh, or Jolteon for me. Yeah, Zapdos looks the same. I I would love to. I. It's like the meme from The Office when she holds up the two when Pam holds up the two photos. Uh, Corporate wants you to find the difference between these two photos. There's just two Zapdos. It's the exact same. You don't see Master in this because we're in Gen One, Indigo. Give us a beat. Give us a beat. Also, Magnemite, what are you doing? Ice type, you know what? Here's where Lapras makes a return, because I actually am a big fan of Lapras's purple. We kind of talked about it earlier. Uh, then we hit the fighting types. The fighting types, honestly, I didn't realize every Gen 1 fighting type is green. What? For those of you who might not be as familiar with me, might not have picked up it by now, green is my favorite color. Green is my favorite color. Let's go Polyrath here. For poison... Um, Gengar makes me so sad. I absolutely adore Gengar. Um, and it's, it's really got nothing going for it in the shiny variant. Um, I kind of actually do really like Weezings and, um, I, I like their, their different color. Ghastly is a better color, but in 3D, Sprite does not look good. Nidoking, though, absolutely. <laughs> what, Grimer? What's, what that mouth do? It poisons you. That's what Grimer's mouth do. Jumping over to the ground types here. Another, I guess a lot of Gen 1 kind of has a lot of uh, green. And I wonder if that was like to do with... Because Generation 2 is the first generation to introduce shinies. And like crystal, uh, silver, and gold. So I wonder if that had to do with like the shading there. And that's why a lot of the colors are what they end up becoming. Um, Sandshrew. I like, I like the little, little green boy. Golden Geodude line is really nice. Jumping to our flying types. Um, here's the thing. Dragonite is my clear winner, but I'm Dragonite's gonna clear win Dragon, so we don't even have to talk about it. Um I honestly Charizard might take the cake here because what I really do like Butterfree. All of the legends do look lame, and we'll get to the legend here at the end. Because if we go to bug here. There's not many bug options, and I am actually a fan of Butterfree's uh, shiny variant there. So for flying, honestly, because I love the Pidgey, the Pidgeotto line, but it does it doesn't do a lot. Pinsir, all right, we'll look we'll look back at we'll look back at bug we'll look back at bug. I guess we'll throw Charizard here. Psychic, my favorite is actually in the Psychic line, but we'll we'll grab it later. So actually, do we change water to something different? And put Starmie here. There weren't many other... You know what? Let's do the Golden Magikarp here. And let's drop the Starmie in for Psychic. Um, Alright, Bug, Pinsir. I, I just I just don't like... I feel like even though... I, you know what? We have to look at this from... I'm not a huge Bug fan. In real life or in the games. I don't know. I think I think Butterfree's coloring is just so much better. That's, that's me. That's me. That's just me. Um, rock types here, um, a lot of Gen 1 does have a lot of overlap between a lot of its here in, in the middle row here. Honestly, Geodude, Geodude's yellow is really cool. I feel like it loses a lot of its hue as it, as it gets a little darker as it evolves. So let's go Geodude. Ghost is the most upsetting for Gen 1. Because we only got three options, and Gengar sucks. I love Gengar, but its shiny sucks. Bug Pokemon were made for the kids who got bullied. Yeah, Ghastly, obviously, there. Dragon, obviously, Dragonite. Um, I love Dragonite. Dragonite's one of my favorites. And green being there is just so much better. Um, for the Dark type, Dark type, of course, did not exist in Generation 1. Um, so instead, it's just giving us this nonsense. I'm just going to skip it. Um, steel? Aw, oh, man. Which Steel type should we choose? Rhydon was the first Pokemon thought of, and they couldn't even have a good shiny for him. Oof. Uh, we'll go with uh, with with Magneton because there's three of them. Fairy, 
Um, while technically not existing in Generation 1, these Pokemon became Fairy later. I think we have to give it to Mr. Mime, because Mr. Mime is the only Pokemon that it looks like they actually changed things to. Uh, which even then, they barely changed anything. But like, here we just got the tips of their ears, a slightly different shade in that. That's true, Steel wasn't in Gen 1 as well, you are correct, that one was another one that they, ch that they added to as well. Um... So that's also one that changed type. What was there? Was there? Was there? What was their original type? In Gen One, was it just normal, or were they a were they a electric type? No, I guess they would have just been pure electric, wouldn't they have? Because now they're steel electric. Huh. Uh, favorite starter, just pure, pure electric. That makes sense. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Wait a second. You all couldn't see the fairy stuff here. Oh gosh. I just realized. It's. Wait. What? Do I need to zoom in? And then I can move over and you can see everything? No. Oh, we have to slide this way. Okay, that works. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Honestly, I don't hate the zoom in. Um, for our starter, you should change Venusaur Charizard out. Honestly, you're not wrong. Um, let's look back at grass. Let's look back at flying. <laughs> um, I always forget Gyarados is a flying type. Let's toss in Butterfree for flying. Let's change Bug to... We'll give it to Pinsir. We'll give it to Pinsir. Pinsir is, is cool. I just don't love Pinsir as a Pokemon. Um, and then Starter, we'll put Charizard there. Gimmick form. Now keep in mind, these gimmicks didn't exist in Generation 1, but they're just later gener uh, gimmicks. Um, honestly, I the Megas are sick. The Megas are so cool. Mega Charizard Y, I think, is my favorite of the the starter Megas, at least as far as that. I just hate that the fire in his mouth just looks like it's just he's just drooling nonstop. But I think we gotta give it to Mega Gengar. I think we gotta give it to Mega Gengar. Because I love Gengar. Has a sick shiny. <laughs> Only when it's mega Only when it's mega Uh, Snorlax, uh... Oh, this, this Snorlax gimmick here is uh, Gigantamax. But, you know, it's there. It's there. Wish it was the normal Gengar colors. How dare you. <laughs> Mega Gengar with that mouth. Dude, don't worry about it. And then, of course, our favorite legend. Of these three, honestly, Moltres is the only one that even looks different. But it, it's easily Mew. Hands down, no argument. The best shiny legendary from Generation 1 is Mew. I, I will, there will be no further questions. Mewtwo, oh yeah, Mewtwo is also sick. I have a shiny Mewtwo and a shiny Mew, um, which is incredible. Our favorite overall of Generation 1, this is a tough choice because it honestly, for me, for me, and let me know what your favorites are from this specific list. It comes down to two Pokemon from Gym 1 and it's Dragonite and it's Mew. Dragonite and Mew are my two favorites from Gen 1 as far as shinies are. Uh, but honestly, Nitto King is not a, not a bad, like, third, as, as well as Ditto. Just the color of both of them, I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of that, of that shade and just the way it contrasts comparatively to, like, their uh, original normal form. Uh, you go for Mew. Mew, honestly, it might take the cake. My favorite would be Charizard, just because I like the colors. Charizard, like, it, you can't argue against Charizard. Charizard just looks cool. Like, it, it, I, it, 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 there's a reason why Charizard has continued through every game and just keeps coming up. It's, it's, it's a cool Pokemon. It's a cool Pokemon. Ban Darkless for liking Charizard. Never. All right, let's move on to Generation 2. Generation 2, starting off with a new set of normal type Pokemon. Oh, great. Also, when you play Poke Rogue, never pick Charmander to spite them. Absolutely will do. Not a lot of great options for normal types normally. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, I think just looking at this strictly from what looks different is... Gotta be, like, the Teddy Ursula line, or maybe even Stantler. Also Smurgle, but Smurgle, I, f I wish the, the body shade was a little bit more different than what it was. 
Um, oh, Miltank, honestly. Blissey, leave my screen. Yeah, Blissey, like, what is this? What is this? It's, it's nothing is what it is. Um, liking Shiny Gengar is where Shiny Gengar is solid. Is solid. You love Shiny Noctowl? Again, it's just, I wish it was, I wish it was more. But in the games, it does show up a little bit clearer than it does in these sprites here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna drop in, I'm gonna drop in the cow. Drop in Miltank. Our Gen 2 Fire Types. Once again, I feel like they hit the mark with the starter. Like, why aren't these, why, why aren't these flames a different color? Why aren't these flames a different color? Like, what's going on here? Your little Cricketoon? Cricketoon. Cricketoon is Gen 4, right? Yeah, Cricketoon's Gen 4. We'll see. Actually, here's the thing, which also excites me about a lot of this. A lot of these shinies I haven't seen yet, because we haven't caught every shiny Pokemon yet. So some of these I see for the first time, and I'm like, oh shoot, that's actually what your shiny looks like. Like Slugma, for instance. Yeah. I heard Gengar, and I do not like him. Yeah, Gengar, I love as a Pokemon, but like, has an awful shiny. Awful shiny. Gen 2 does have a purple thing going. I kind of want to give it to Ho-Ho, but I feel like Ho-Ho is going to win out for legendaries later. So I'm going to give it Slugma, because again, we are f ranking this purely by what I think looks the coolest. Not competitiveness, not is this the best Pokemon, what has the coolest shiny. My favorite Pokemon, so I have done one of these breaking down my favorite Pokemon based on that, to give you just a quick bullet point of what my favorites are. Uh, Mew, Dragonite, Rowlet, honestly any Pokemon that you kind of see mostly over in this section, some over here, like Piplop, Lapras, Blastoise, uh, Mew, Gengar, uh, Poliwhirl, uh, I have to say Masquerade or else Indigo will yell at me. Um, I feel like I hit all the bullet points. Oh, Clank! Clink Clank! Clink Clank, obviously. Uh, but I have a full breakdown of this on my Pokey. Uh, Pokey Wizard channel as well, if you're ever curious about getting a full deep dive. Master needs to leave Pokemon altogether. Water types! Gen 2 has some solid water types. The Clang Gang keeps on clanging. Your most hated Pokemon is Rayquaza? Alright, here's another question. Is it Rayquaza or Rayquaza? What, what do you prefer? Option A, Rayquaza. Option B, Rayquaza. Which is it? Um, it's Politoed. Grass? Celebi is really cute. Bayleaf? What are you doing? Like, ugh. I think it might be Rosla. Yeah, it might be. It might be. Shiny Quagsire is pretty awesome. Did I skip Quagsire? Shiny Quagsire is pretty awesome. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, jump into our Electrics. Um, Elekid... What are you doing? Did I just call... Did I call Belosla Ro Roslia? Did I really? Oh, shoot. You're right. I did call it Roslia. Yikes. Um, well, this has been fun. I'll, uh... I'll see you next time. I'll, I'll see you later. Um... Gotta go. Yikers. Wiz retires now. Just in-stream deletes channel. Ampharos. Ice type. It's honestly Delibird. I think is pretty cool. Or Delibird. De De Delibird. I don't know. Whatever you. Whatever you care for. Um, Sloking 100% with blue scarf. We'll get back to him. We'll get back to him. We'll get back to him. As punishment require you to do a Pokemon Snap playthrough. Oh my gosh. Play through the original Poke Snap. Can you imagine? Let's go with Polis, uh, Polis Wine. I almost called him Polo Swine. Um, and this, this looks like a very monochrome, like, gray with just, like, one color coming through. Uh, but I think it might be Heracross. I'm a big fan of Heracross's coloring here. Um, Poison. It might be... Crobat's Wings. I think is what really, like, suits me on him. But honestly, Eridos does look really cool. Swine, <laughs> don't get my guys' names wrong. But no, Polo Swine is what I almost said, which I'm honestly not a terrible name. Not a terrible name. Uh, let's go with the Crobat for now. Ground. Wiz, I don't like bugs. Also, Wiz picks Heracross for Beck's fighting type of Gen 2. <laughs> I did pick him for fighting types, didn't I? 
<laughs> I did. We might change our mind when we get to Bugs for Jane 2. We might change our minds and go back and change something different here. Uh, Fanfi makes me sad. Nothing has changed here. Nothing has changed here. What are you doing, Fanfi? You could be so much cooler. So much cooler. No, wait. Quagsire. It's Quagsire. Flying types of Generation 2... Togetic is another one that makes me so sad. Like, no, what, what's changed here? The answer? Nothing. Delibird it is. Okay, so here's the, here's the question. Which unknown do we pick? Which unknown do we pick? Because clearly, none of these psychic types are better than unknown. So we gotta fix that. We gotta pick, we gotta pick the unknown. Which one do we pick here? Oh, it's absolutely Espeon. Unknown? You you can... Get... Get... Out! Uh, I'm spelling get out of here because they're unknown and they spell. Oh, well, no, it's not Heracross. It's Shuckle. It's Shuckle, right? 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 Unknown did not get the W. We got the L. I think it's Shuckle here, right? Am I crazy? Or does Shuckle Shiny just go hard? Shuckle's easily, right? Yanma, though, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But Shuckle. Shuckle keeps shuckling. Mm, I didn't like that. I said, ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. We could put Shuckle here for rock. And then we could do Yama here. I could go. My cargo is also really cool. Also, um, Corsola. Honestly, I really, I really like the color. It's a similar like blue to what Ditto had. Um, so I don't hand it out. What gen was Yen Manga? I think it's Gen Four. Gen Four. Um, because that's the generation where we got like a lot of additional like evolutions thrown in. We'll go with my cargo. Ghost type? Ah! This is a real... It's a real thoughtful, thought-provoking one. Which... Which ghost type from Generation 2 do we choose? Huh. I'll... I, this one, this, this, this is that. You know what? I'll just go with my gut. I'll just go with my gut here. Who? Same question here for our dragon type. We could pick none. Uh, no, wait, Wiss. This is tough. Skip it and go back to it. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll skip it. We'll go back to it. It is too tough. Dark type. I think there's a clear winner here as well. Um, I think there is a clear winner here. I, I don't think there is any argument at all. It's Murkrow. It's clearly Murkrow. Like, how could it not be Murkrow? It's Umbreon. It's Umbreon. It's Umbreon. Although, you're not wrong. Houndoom is is really sick. Which we did drop for um, a Slugma back here. I just think Slugma's coloring is really cool. Steel type. I think we gotta go with the steel... Uh, the steel... Sna the gold snake. I almost said the steel snake. The golden snake. Uh, I mean, Skarm... Here's my thing with Skarmory. Skarmory's sprite looks cool. But... In actuality, like, you can't even tell. Like, in the game, in the three... Like, you can't even tell it looks different. So I'm like, that's... That's not it. That's... That's... That just doesn't do it for me. Uh, Azumarill, I think, takes the cake here. The... The golden... The golden... What? What is a zoomer? What? 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 What are you? I was like, what animal can I equate you to? It said the golden snake, so I... The golden egg. The water mouse. The golden mouse. Alright, so we got our starter. This honestly... I feel like... Now just... I'm not gonna look at the chat so you can't influence me. I'm just gonna say something here. The Gen 2 starters suck. When it comes to their shiny forms. All of their shinies suck. None of them have good shinies. What does the chat have to say? 
Chat, do you agree? Do you disagree? I don't think Gen 2 has a, has a single good shiny for their starter. Gator is the best. For Alligator, I think, is the best of them. Um, but, like, like what, what what did we do here? What, what did we do here? You love Typhlo- which Ty My thing with Typhlosion is I'm just like, why couldn't you do, like, a blue fire? Right? Like, the brown with, like, a blue fire or, like, even, like, a, a bright red fire instead of just, like, it's the same exact fire sprite. Makes me sad. For Alligator, for me. Gimmick form. Um, honestly, it might be. I think this is where, I think this is where Houndoom shines. Because a lot of the Pokemon have blue fire. That is true. Just give me a random color. Give me like a, give me a, uh, what's a color you wouldn't think for fire? I'm just looking around my room at random colors. Give me like a white fire. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of like Ampharos's, like, that coming off of that'd be kind of cool let's go out and do them and for our gen 2 legendary um for me this does come down to celebi or ho-oh celebi or ho-oh both go hard both go hard suicune suicune i don't know i feel like it's 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 too similar I feel like they, they make that mistake with a lot of their shiny or the legendary shinies. But Suicune is pretty, don't get me wrong. But I just, I'm a big fan of Ho. I do like Entei's color, but I wish there's more of a difference. Entei's like muted colors, I do like. I do like the muted colors, which is kind of like what all three of them kind of have going on here. I don't hate. I'm gonna go Ho. -Oh. Alright, for all of you, I already know what my pick is. I already know what my pick is for Gen 2's favorite shiny. But going off of this list, what is, what is your favorite Gen 2 shiny? Um, my my pick is easy. Umbreon, Macargo. Incoming? What's incoming, Welsh? What's happening? My, my clear favorite is Espeon. My clear favorite is Espeon. Espeon is just one of my favorite Pokemon anyways. Pillow Swine is not, isn't even close? Did you see this green... This, this green? You'll find out. Yo, Raven! Welcome to the party! What's up, Raiders? Bird Raid. How are you all doing? Oh, I said bird, not burb. Welcome on in, Raiders. How are you all doing? If you aren't already, can we get a shout-out for Raven if you all aren't already following them? Uh, go drop a follow over there. Hey, there it is right there. There's, there's the drop. There's the shout-out. Um, welcome on in. We are currently ranking all of our favorite shinies. We're moving on to Gen 3 currently. Got a, got a slide here as well. My cargo gets an easy win. Oh, my cargo does go hard. Normal types. We're actually getting into... Generation 3 actually adds some nice variety for, for the normal types, which I'm a fan of. Frantic, how are you doing? Ruby, how are you doing? Thanks for the raid. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, Raven, what were you up to? What were you, what were you doing today? DBD? I just, I just always assume DBD because you're just better than me in every way. Swallow is best for normal. Swallow is really cool. DBD. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you win? You, you winning, son? Uh, were you, were you escaping or were you hunting people as the killer? Um, slacking, honestly, I wish went harder. It, I wish it did, but it doesn't. Um, I don't know. It might be Swallow for me. Zigzagoon also kind of goes hard. Kind of goes hard. I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie. Like the orange. I'm going to throw, I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw it in there. I'm going to throw it in there. We might get Swallow back when we get to flying. We're just going on vibes mostly here. Fire type. Fire type. Again, we're seeing... At least here, the starter looks a little different. But, like, what are we doing here? Why, why does Blaziken pretty much look the same? What are we doing here? Also, I do like that since it is Gen 3, we're getting each different form of, uh... Oh my gosh, I'm blanking on their name! Oh no! What's their name? I almost said Claydol, and that's not correct. Oh no. What is your... It is a C. Cast form. Cast form. Cast form, yes. 
Uh, even though I hate black shinies because of Rayquaza, Camera Up is, does go hard, though. Water. Then we also get our next uh, incredible one. Water, water, water. What are we gonna do here? Ludicolo! Ludicolo! Honestly, the entire Lotad line goes hard. Um, Marsh Stomp for you. For I love Swampert. Um, I'm a big fan of Swampert Shiny. It's probably gonna take the win for starters. Spoiler alert! It'll probably take the win for starter. Um, Sharpedo, honestly, I'm a fan of as well. I, may, I am a fan of Sharpedo. Um, Kyogre has a good one. Love Disc, the little gold. I, any, any golden one, I do also just really like as well. Um, most of these are boring purple. Oh, and that's what I feel like a lot of, like, early generation shinies. Like, I feel like they, they all kind of be purpley. Melotic is also really cute. Big fan of that change. Um, Pelipper, I, I like that they added, like, the green accent. I do wish, like, the white changed to something else. Like, I don't maybe, like, blue, since they're, you know, water birds. Blue instead of the white would be kind of cool. Um, but we aren't here to redesign shinies. I'm going to go Ludicolo. Grass type coming up next. Um, not a lot of great options here either. It might be Nuzly for me. Cacturn. Cacturns is really cool. Again, I did say I like the gold. Um... You like Tropius for some reason? I, I, Tropius is another one where I'm like, it, it starts, but it just doesn't get there. Hey, there's my Roselia that I was I was talking about last generation. <laughs> last generation, there's my Roselia, which I do like that Roselia's like flower color change. I do think that is cool. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna lock in Nuzleaf and move on to Electric. Plusle, what are you doing, Plusle? The, you're you're no different when Minum is. But Plusle is no different. And it makes me so sad. Like, what are you doing? Fizzle, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Electric. Electric is really cool. Manectric is... I, I, I do feel like this one went too much. But I, I do like Electric. Um, or Electric. I always call him Electric instead of Electric. 4R Ice. <sighs> Reg Ice, what are you doing here? Reg Ice, what are you doing? What are you doing? Snow Runt or Glade for me? I'm gonna go Snow Runt and we're gonna move to Fighting. We're just gonna we're just gonna we're gonna start like running through these until we get here and we're like, what is it? What is it? What do we even choose here? They're all they're all boring. They're all boring. Maddie Cham is the only one that does anything exciting. Makuhudu because I hate Maddie Cham. Oh shoot, we got a fight happening here. We're just gonna go, we're just gonna go Combuskin. No, we aren't. Bra we'll go Breloom. We'll lock in Breloom. Um, Saviper? Those colors, those colors are cool. Those colors are cool. Yeah, Breloom's colors at least change. Ground? This one is another one where I think it's an easy winner. I think it's an easy winner. I think it's Flygon. Flygon just looks so cool. You've never seen Saviper? Neither have I. That, but Saviper, now I want to go catch... Shiny Viper. I want to go catch it because that's that's cool. No, Mars. We'll get to that for our starter because I already know it wins because the other two starters suck. Groudon does also go hard. Flying. At at Indigo, and do you have any favorites here at Indigo? Any any potential favorites here? Also, we do have Shiny Shadow Lugia because Generation Three. Um, introduce that with um, uh, XD, which I've never played, or Gales of Darkness. I need to play those at some point. I need to play those at some point. I, I think it is clearly Swallow. I was just seeing if I could go to Indigo into, into yelling. Psychic. Hey, Unknown. Unknown has their chance. Unknown could come back here. Unknown could bring it back. It won't, though, but, I mean, it could. It could make a comeback. I think we gotta go Gardevoir. I think we gotta go Gardevoir. Just the color. The color is really pretty. I think we gotta go with it. Easy peasy. Bug. Another tough choice at Indigo. What choice should we make? 
Beautify looks better than Masquerade. Does it? I honestly, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I actually do like Masquerade. IDK what all the different Deoxys types are. Shoot, I'll run them through. So this is Deoxys Normal. This is Deoxys Attack, where it has a boosted attack. This is Deoxys Defense. And then this is uh, Deoxys Speed. Um, together, you get Snad. Snad. Speed, Normal, Attack, Defense. Snad. Snad. I, I, you could, I guess you, you could call it Sand. I guess. I guess you could call it sand. Now that I see you type out snad, you could call it sand, I guess. I'm telling... Oh, no, don't tell Andy. Don't tell Andy. No, we're sad if you don't count normal. <laughs> we're just, sad is just me. Um, I honestly really like Relicanth's color. I don't like Relicanth as a Pokemon, honestly. But I think who does Relicanth's color better? Agron. I think it, I think it does it better. I think it does better. Although, I will say special shout out to Lunatone's Eye. I don't think really any of the reds just changed. There, I, it's a slight difference, but it's, it's not much. It's not much. Hey, Ghost, we actually have additional Ghost options here instead of just beholden to one evolution line for the first time. Um, I'm going to go for, I almost called him uh, Deoxys because we were just talking about Deoxys. Not Dusclox. What, what, what is their name? Sheninja is kind of boring. Um, Sableye is pretty cool, but I feel like Sableye is going to take potentially the gimmick form. Um, I am blanking on Dot Dusclops' first form. What is their base form's name? Dust Skull. Oh my gosh. I am... Shoot. I need to go back to Pokemon School. I need to go back to Pokemon School ASAP. Dragon... I actually do really like Salamance. Worst Poke streamer? That's not even kind of true. I'm like the second worst. Maybe the third worst, but I don't think I'm that good. Latius does go hard. I hate Shogun. I, I'm, I'm hot take. I hate Shogun. I hate Shell. I, I, I hate them. I don't think they're good. I don't think they're great. Salamance. Dark type. I wish Absol was prettier. I wish Absol was prettier. I really do. Sableye to Sable Life. Steel? I think it's Metagross, right? I think we can all agree it's Metagross. Hey, look, a, a Reggie that actually has a different color palette. What a concept. None of the others could do it, but Reggie Steel actually pulls strong with it. I think Metagross was my second shiny. Um, Gyarados, Red Gyarados was my first one from playing, um, Soul Silver, And then my second shiny came from the gifted Metagross you get in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. That was like a gifted event. Um, so that was my second shiny because I had never found a shiny in actuality, um, until I actually started shiny hunting when we were streaming. Beforehand, I never found it. Um, I could change Psychic for Fairy since Gardevoir lands under that. Let's do that. Let's throw Latias in for Psychic. And for Fairy, we'll do Gardevoir. For Starter, it's it's no it's no contest. Swampert for me. I'm a big fan of Swampert. Oh, you're right. It is Latios. Latios it is. I can never, I can never keep Latios and Latios straight. Even though I know Latios OS, just, just like in... Like, uh, Spanish is, is the masculine term, so, but I, I, then I'm like, well, which one's red and which one's blue? Can never remember. Can never remember. Here is our gimmick form for Generation 3. Sableye with the Giant Gym is kind of hitting, right? That's what I was saying earlier. I was like, I'm pretty sure Sableye takes it here. I'm not a huge fan of Swampert's Mega, but Sableye with the Giant Green Gym is really cool. Primal Kyogre and Groudon I actually really like. All three of them, I think, hit hard. All three of them, I think, hit hard. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to Sableye with the gym. Do we want to change Sableye out from here? Yeah, let's go Cacturn here for Dark. And then for our Legendary, um, I think most people will agree it comes down to Rayquaza or Kyogre. Um, it's definitely not these two. It's not Regice or Regirock. You still have Latios. Oh no, yeah, I know. Latios is Latios is the one I meant. I, I prefer the uh 
the tealish green, which I think you can kind of tell by all of this, where my color tends to lie. Jirachi looks nice. I'm honestly not a huge fan of Jirachi. I'm not a huge fan of Jirachi Shiny. Jirachi is your favorite legendary. Jirachi is a good one. Muse takes the, takes the cake there for me. Um, <laughs> Reggie Rock. I, I, it's Kyogre or Rayquaza for me. That's a tough one. We'll go Rayquaza. We might change our mind later. Favorite overall. This one is actually the first time where I've opened it and I don't have a clear winner. But my clear winner might kind of surprise you now that I'm looking at this. I know, I know what Indigo's clear winner is, and it's Mask Rain. I think my clear winner might actually be Survivor. I think Survivor actually kind of goes hard. I think it's a really cool shiny. I don't know. It, it's, it's Survivor and Flag on both. I think are just are just really sick. I would never choose Survivor as a favorite anything, but here we are. As we go into Generation 4, one of my favorite generations of Pokemon. I do, out of the meme, want to chick click Bidoof. But Bidoof honestly doesn't have a good shiny. I think especially when you compare it to the other normal shinies that we have here. I think Chitot really goes strong. But Chitot does have another sub where we will see it. Um... Whereas Porygon is one that I am a fan of, and I think here we'll drop in the Porygon Z. That's why Indigo's your worst mod. They like Masquerade. How dare you? Gen 4 is the last gen I played, not counting remakes. You haven't played any of the newer generations. That I phrased that as a statement when it was supposed to be a question. Um, oh, shoot. Now we're, we're factoring the Rotoms, where we'll see each different Rotom as we go through here. here. I think we go Magmortar. I actually kind of like it. I, I don't know what Heat Ran is doing here. I'd love to know what Heatran is doing here. You don't know to switch that? Oh, that's fair. That's fair. But no black and white? Uh, all I care about is Gen 4 if you pick Krikatoon. Oh my gosh. So much pressure. So much pressure as we move to our water type. Um, Empoleon Piplop line is my favorite water type uh, evolution line of Generation 4. But their shiny just doesn't do it for me. Quite frankly, it doesn't. So I think we're just gonna go to the to the golden uh, to the golden uh, gastro. You think gastrodon? Okay, now you say gastrodon, which I was about to ask which one the blue gastrodon. Um, I think it comes down to Buzel for me. I like Buzel; they're cute. Grass. It's got to be Leafeon. Am I right? Am I right? How could it not be Leafeon? Leafeon's just perfect in every conceivable way. How could it not be Leafeon? Their shiny is perfect. I end up not being able to afford black and white. You know what? And that's fair. Especially now trying to buy black and white. Where I think they regularly go for, without a case, just the game. Like $80. Don't be hating on my second favorite, Eeveelution. I would hate on it less if it had a better shiny. A better shiny. And it just doesn't. Carnivine's the best. Carnivine is, is pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, Ten growth. I like the green. Now, here's another one where I know a lot of people are a fan of sh of uh, the Lux Rays and their beautiful uh, golden uh, goodness. But I kind of do like Pachirisu's change to like a pink. I think it's I think it's a big fan. I'm a big fan. Although Rotom's Rotom Shiny could be worse, but I think it is good. Magnezone. Magnezone also does go well. I, I am a fan of it as well. We're gonna have Pachirisu here as we move to our ice types. I think it's I think it's just Mammoth Swine. I don't think anything else really compares. Weavile could also maybe hit it. We're gonna go Mammoth Swine. Fighting type. I, I think this is another instance of a clear winner. With uh, Lu uh, with Lucario, although Toxicroak may come back for poison. Toxicroak comes back for poison. Toxicroak gets the win there. Ground type again with with this line. Goodbye, it looks cool, but like, wh why why could Garchomp not be a better? Like, why why could they not do better here? Why could they not? 
Like, what's going on? Lucario's your third hated... Wait, who's your number one hated Pokemon? Was it Rayquaza? Who's your second most hated? Bridget, how you doing? Welcome on in. Um, let's go with Gliscor. Gliscor? Gliscor? Gliscor. Rayquaza, Charizard, Lu Lucario. That's fair. That's fair. Flying type. Motham is pretty cool. But I think it's gotta be Chitop for me. I think it's gotta be Chitop for me. They're 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 too good. I'm a fan of it. <laughs> Motham might take the win for Bug. No spoilers yet. Psychic here. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Gallade does go hard. We did pick Gardevoir earlier. But also... Don't do this. I might do this. I might do this. I might do this. I kind of don't hate Bronzor and Bronzong. I don't hate the coloring. <sighs> but also Mime Jr. The Mythicals do look nice, right? Like, they do look nice. Does look nice. Let's go. Let's go bronzer. Let's go bronzer. Let's look at bug. Okay, Yin Manga goes hard. Krikatoon. But here's the thing. Krikatoon. Wait, this you can't see them all. Krikatoon, I do love. Krikatoon is 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 a cute. He's just a little guy. He's a little guy. I wish it was more gold. They look more gray. They almost look as if they aren't shiny. Just a nice color scheme. Yeah, I don't hate it. But the Matam. The Matam. Vespa Queen Masquerade? How dare you? You tell that to Indigo when he gets here. That's as gold as it gets. <sighs> Motham takes it for me. And Chitot, I just, I love Chitot so much. I love Chitot so much. Rock? These don't rock. These do not rock. Whoever said these rock lied. I think it is Rhyperior. I wish, I wish this mustache was, was, was like a, a random color. I, I wish Nose Pass had like a, like a, a, I'm trying to think what the silliest color would be. Like a neon purple? Maybe, maybe even like a neon orange. Like mustache would look very silly. Um, Rampardos? Rampardos does look good. Honestly, these four, I don't hate the different color scheme, but I think we're going to go Rhyperior. Ghost? I think it's Spiritomb. I think it's Spiritomb. Spirit Tomb just looks cool. I think I think that or Dusk Dusk Noir. Dusk Noir also looks cool. We're just going off vibes here. We aren't going off off best Pokemon. Drift Blim though. Uh, actually the little blue accents here. The little black in, or not black, the blue inset, it accents do look really nice. I got a luck in Spirit Tomb though. Dragon? Awful choices. Awful choices, but Gibble does look the best. Dark? Ooh, we could put Spirit Tomb here, and we could put Drift Blim here. That works, that works. Can't see the whole list? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Just to reshow you, Dark. Dragon. Ghost. Steel? Wait, I'm sorry. This this Wormadam Steel type, I didn't realize that. We'll go with Magnezon. I think we'll I think we'll luck them in. Fairy, we only have two options here. Mime Junior is my take because the Toka Tokapi line doesn't change. <laughs> Heatran looks sad. Uh, favorite starter. I think it's the Infernape line, right? I think it's the Chimchar line. I wish the Piplop line went, like, took a bigger risk. Same with the Turtwig line. And I feel like it's Monferno, right? Like, it's not Infernape. But this is another, another time where I wish they changed the fire color. I wish it was just a weird fire color. That's kind of what I love about Ponyta, which we didn't even end up picking Ponyta. Is that they have such a weird... Uh, different. I agree with the Chimchar line. The Piplop line is not my favorite color scheme. It's good. It, it just had a little bit more. It's so close. So close. Grottle, I do like. Turtwig themselves, I like this color green. Um, 
If you would even call that a green. I just wish they went more into it. I'm gonna go Chimchar. Gimmick form. I'm gonna go Gallade. I think this is really sick. Especially compared to normal Gallade. Gimmick form Gallade, I think, goes hard. And our favorite legendary. This is tough. This is tough. Um, it's not Manaphy or Fionn. I can tell you that. It's not Heatran. I can tell you that. Um, Dialga and Palkia, I wish were a little bit more. Shaman so you can finally get the shiny. Can you imagine? But I, I, I that's what I was going to say. I really like Shaman shiny. Darkrai is another one where it's like, the purplish hint is there, but I wish they just did a little bit more to like the white spike on the head. The Giratina also does go well with like the blue. The 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 Lake Spirits, I feel like, are just a vibe in general. Um I think we're gonna lock in the shaman. And then our favorite of generation four. No, we don't we don't we we don't care about God. Get out of here. Cresslia was also really pretty. Cresslia was very pretty. Who is our favorite for Generation 3? And, uh... This is another one where I don't have an immediate winner. The Gallade? The Gallade does go hard. The Gallade does go hard. It's not the Porygon. It's not the... Pachirisu, though. I do really like it. Glade just works, it does. I like like the flowing bit, kind of like a cape with like the white coloring to the to the blue tinge. I, I I like it. But it could also I think it might be. This is another one that I think might surprise you all. I think it's Toxicroak. I really think it is. Just that color scheme, I think just it it works really well. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right, we're moving on to Generation 5. This is a generation I did not play um, until I was an adult streaming our living decks for the first time. It was the first time I touched Generation 5. What? Why are there legs here? Why are there... Why can I pick a person? What are these? I don't know what this is. What, what, what is this? What are these last four options and why do they exist? I don't know what that is. I'm so confused. <sighs> um, Initial reactions. We're going for quick, quick, yes, legs, the Pokemon. Um... Yeah. Legs. Legs for days. Like, what is this? I don't know what this is. Um, for our fire Pokemon, Victini does go. I, I am a fan of Victini. As much as I hate the Tepic line, um, not Pignite. This is Pignite. Who is this one? What, what, what is what is Tepic's final evolution? I can't remember. Also Litwick. Litwick does go hard. Litwick does go hard. But that might win Ghost. We'll have to come back around and see what where Ghost puts us at. Um, but this could also win starter. Let's lock in Litwick for now and we'll come back. Water. You forgot a lot of Pokemon's names. I do. Imbor. That's what it is. I do forget a lot of Pokemon names. There are 1,025 Pokemon. Cut me a little slack if I forget five or 600 of them, their names, you know? Shoot. Um... Definitely not Oshawa. Definitely not that line. Um, Not allowed to forget any of them. I'll commit them all to memory. I promise. But my fingers were crossed. You didn't see it. Seismitoad. Grass type. Um, I still don't know what this locked door is. Um, although actually Snivy does look, does look good actually. Now that I say that. The deerlings, the only thing changed is their, their pink flower, so that's definitely not even uh, an option. Whimsicott. Electric. It's electric! Um... 
Yes. I honestly forgot a lot of Gen 5. Locked doors, the Black Forest. I have no idea. Maybe? Is that a thing that can be shiny? I guess. I, I, I guess. I don't know. Um, ice type. Type. Um, not great choices. It might be Kyurem. I feel like Kyurem just has a cool color. Uh, we fighting? Fighting type. Person. I could pick legs earlier, now I can pick person. Why can I, why can I pick person as my favorite sh uh, what? What? What's happening here? I'm so confused on everything that's happening here. Um, definitely not them. They barely changed. It might be Verizion. I do like Verizion's color. We could change it. We could come back and change it. Um, Mileto is ugly. I'm not a huge fan of the Mileto change. Uh, Amoongus. Amoongus is just like a, a change to purple from red to purple, which I don't hate. Uh, but in comparison to the rest, I wish again this red was a different color. Um, Trebuchet is nice. Um, let's go Amoongus because we're feeling sus. Uh, for our ground type, I'm really just going on feeling for a lot of these. We could change Seismitoad there. And we could change Water type here to Ducklet. Because I do like Ducklet. Let's go Seismitoad here. For Flying type... I think it's going to be Unpheasant's mid-stage, which I'm blanking on its name. Or Archeops, but Archeops... Archeops does... <sighs> Let's go with Tranquil. Tranquil is their name. I remembered it. I remembered it! K-Dog, are you so proud of me? I just remembered a Pokemon's name that I'd forgotten, and then I remembered it. We have Person again, and... Blimp, I think? I think there's a Blimp here as an option? I'm not really quite sure what this is. Um, Woobat. For our bug? Gosh, not great options. Not great options for bug. I'm really quite sad that there's not a better option here. They're all kind of sad. But it might be whoever your name is. Golsapod? Wait, which one's Golsapod again? Wait, I don't see Golsapod on here. Where's that from water? Volcarona. What's his name? Genesec? Genesec? Or do you mean this one? Which is Cl Closter? I can't remember. I can't remember. Genesec is really pretty. Let's go Volcarona. Let's go for our rock type. That's where we're going to lock in Archeops. They just look cool. Um, Wiz failing a Pokemon. <laughs> What's new? What's new, Pussycat? We already put Litwick for fire. So we are going to put Litwick here. Um, Golspot is Gen 7, I think. I think, yeah, it's, a, it's an Alolan Pokemon. Yeah, you're correct. Because it Gu Guzma uses it. Chandelure. I think Chandelure goes hard here. Again, I have no idea what this smoke monster is. For our dragon, um, Haxorus. Haxorus, absolutely. For our dark type, um, okay. I, I, mm, this is close. This is Zeora, or this is, uh, King Gambit's first stage. I still don't know what these purple monsters are or what the person is. You think Scrafty? Scrafty is pretty good. I think it's Zayora. I think it's Zayora. I like Zayora. I'm a fan of Zayora. We're locking them in. We're moving on to Steel. Where my gut wants me to pick Clangang because I just love Clangang as a Pokemon. But their shiny honestly isn't that hype. Um, Zayora. But their, their, their shiny just isn't, isn't that hype, which is sad to me, because I wish it was. Um, let's lock in Genesec here. Fairy, we only have two options. Let's do Whimsicott here. Uh, come back over here to Grass. And change to... Um... Uh, 
change to Among Us and change Poison to... No, we'll change Poison to Trubbish, because I do like Trubbish. I think I think Trubbish goes well. Wait, was that one mon you part you picked Genesec? Wait, where was the mon you picked Genesec? I didn't pick Genesec. Um, we ended up picking... Um, we ended up picking them instead. All right, moving into our starter. Oh, wait, the mon in the Genesec pick? In the steel? Oh, these? I have no idea what this is. I've got no idea what this is. I don't know what that's from. I wish I did. I really, truly, bluely wish I did. Starter? I think it's Imbor. Gimmick? Is legs. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure all of this comes from actual Pokemon. Yeah, it comes from actual Pokemon. I just don't know. The first two are from Pokestar. Oh, is this Pokestar Studio stuff that could be shiny? That would make sense. This must be Pokestar Studio stuff then. I also like that our gimmick is just Mega Audino or... Mega trash, or just this nonsense? That would make sense. Then let's go out, you know, because I do like them. Um, our favorite legendary, I think, is Victini. the The genies didn't really change. The genies didn't really change. Let's go Victini, and then let's look at our favorite Gen Five shiny Pokemon. Bryson, my favorite gimmick. That would make sense. It's Pokestar Studio stuff. Um, I think this is is Haxorus for me. I really Haxorus. I also just have a like, it's a shiny that I earned through catching every Pokemon in Generation Five. Um, but also I think just is really cool with the the red on black, by Chandelier. And honestly, like Litwick does also go really hard. I'm gonna lock in Haxorus, and we're gonna move on to Generation Six. Lock in Haxorus and lock in our first Pokemon of Generation 6. We're going to go for the immediate vibe of Furfrew. Yeah, it's Furfrew. Move on to Fire. Can you all hear the screaming that's happening outside? I know I can, and I hate that I can. We also are going to have all of the Megas reappearing here in Primal Forms since they were first introduced in Generation 6. Um, so I do like that they're just making a reappearance here. Uh, I, I do like that they're making a reappearance. We aren't going to choose any of them unless they're from Generation 6. Uh, we're not going to choose any of the gimmicks of earlier, um, any of the Megas or Primals. Even though they are technically Gen 6, they belong to their own generation. They belong to their own generation. Um, I kind of hate all of them. I kind of hate all of them. I hate all of them. They all suck. I guess you. Um, we already know Greninja wins favorite starter, so we're gonna ignore Greninja here because we we already know it wins. We already know it wins. Volcania, we'll pick them here. Grass. Shoot. Okay, this is actually tough. I am a fan of Go Goat, and, I, and they're like their shiny looks really cool, but the the Trevenant shiny is, I think it's better. I think it's better than Go-Goats. I think, like, little red and, and white with the, the purple eye in the middle, I think Trevenant's better than Go-Goat. You agree? Perfect. It's electric. Um, once again, we're going to ignore all of the gimmicks here, but I do just I think it's really silly to see all the different Pikachus. I think it's it's really silly. It's just between these three here. I do like Diddy's shiny, uh, but I do think this one, uh, Helios, goes a little bit like cooler just like mixing in different colors i'm a fan of i i don't like the red i'm not a huge fan of just that shade but i think i think that's what shiny should be is just silly weird did any is probably gonna win fairy because i can't think of any other gen 6 fair, fairies that i'm a huge fan of uh but i don't know it might be a shiny i haven't seen yet ice type what are we doing here what are we doing here none of these shinies what I mean, I know four of them are not from this generation, so we won't pick them anyways. But what's the link to this? Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be linked there. That's the link to it. So it's just the Aurors that we have to choose from, so we'll just choose that one. Um, this, I have a 
easy winner for fighting. Um, and it's Halucha. Halucha is just, I think... Spoiler alert, might be my favorite Gen 6 Shiny unless something crazy happens on our way throughout the rest of this. Um, again, we're locked into only two choices here, so we'll go for them. Um, are you are you kidding me? The only you're the only Gen 6 ground types. I think it is Zygarde because you're just not exciting. But like this this Tealish is great. I think Gen 6 might be. Let me pull it up. I think Gen 6 might be the smallest generation, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think it added the least amount. Yeah, Gen 6 only added 72 new Pokemon. Uh, followed by Generation 8, or Generation 7, which added 88. And then Generation 8, which added 96. The most generation to add Pokemon was uh, Gen 5, which added 156. Fun fact. Um, for our flying type here, we get to choose from all these pretty Vavillions. I don't know why they're all... Oh, because it's all the different ones. The main Vavillion's up here, but then it's all the different types. I am currently working on collecting every type of Vavillion using Pokemon Go and postcards. Um, so I am still currently working on making that happen. Yeah, that's always pretty cool. I think Neraven is cooler, but they, I think, take Dragon, right? I think they take the Dragon spot. Um... Let's go Noibat here. Because I, I think Yveltsa will come back later. Psychic. Um, Meow Stick. Let's go... I like the female one more. I think, I think, it's, I think it's cooler. Just the design in general. And I think it, it, the color really uh, goes for it. Although Hoopa and Hoopa Unbound. Hoopa Unbound does look real nice. So they might... I don't know. They might take it. Uh, then we have Bug here. Where we can choose from all of our wonderful Vavillions. Um, which I love that... They're, they're not even shiny. Like, those are just what those look like, I'm, I'm fairly certain. Especially the Pokeball one. Right? That's the normal Pokeball pattern. Okay, actually... Oh, no, wait. They're the exact same pattern, except their, their face is different. I think that's the change. I think that's the change for Shiny Pavilion, is their face is different. Big sneeze. Um... Let's just go a normal pavilion. For our uh, rock type, I almost said our steel type, and then I clicked open and I was like, uh, these aren't steel. Um, I think it's our dino friend. Tyrantrum? Yeah, I think it's Tyrantrum. For our ghosts, um, Dooblade is so cool. Like, it's it's so cool. Or, not Do this is Dooblade. Um, AG Slash. AG Slash is so cool. Dragon, um, Nuevern wins that. Move it over. Oh my gosh, I am the worst. I, I, I don't know why this fits on the screen so awkwardly. Just to show you all the ghosts again. Show you all the dragons again. And in case you missed any of the rocks. Um, and then we have our, our dark type here. Um, I think Hoopon Bound wins the legendary, so let's put Yvelso here. For Steel... All right, where well, I kind of want to choose AG Slash again. So is there someone different I can choose here? Let's choose Dewblade here. <laughs> AG Slash here. Uh, okay. Fairy. Oh my gosh, there actually were more fairies than I could think of. Oh, shoot. I forgot about Xerneas. Xerneas is shiny, I think. is. I really like Xerneas is shiny. And Sylveon. Wait a second. I love Sylveon Shiny. No, it's, it's, there's no, there's no, it's Sylveon. I love Sylveon Shiny. Starter, it's, I don't think this is a conversation, right? This is, this isn't a conversation, it's Greninja. Our favorite gimmick, um, which now we are locked into choosing any of the gimmicks, because I don't think any of these are Gen 6, which is, I stand by the weirdest thing that the generation that introduced Mega Pokemon didn't give... The starters mega so maybe with pokemon legends uh az maybe we finally actually get megas for like greninja um and other gen 6 starters um you know like the other two mega dancy is the lone gen 6 
don't even see them. Wait, where are they? Oh, there they are. They're, why are they all the way at the end? Weird. Hey, speaking of shinies, shiny Vigoroth over there making an appearance. Wiz Studios Tokatik Fled. Wait, why was I trying to catch Tokatik? Oh, because I posted the link in chat, so I was active in chat. And our favorite legendary. Um. Oh, gosh. I'm, I'm a fan of Xerneas. And I'm a fan of Hoopa Unbound. Let's go Hoopa Unbound. And our favorite for Generation 6. I think I, I have a clear winner for my favorite of Generation 6. I don't think it's going to be a surprise. I think everyone's kind of going what we've seen before. Just the color palette and and I, I, just, I comparatively to its regular form, I think the regular form has a really cool color palette. I think the shiny does really well. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be a surprise when I say it's Halucha. But also, like, Halucha, I can kind of see why I was such a big fan of Sviper and Toxicroak. I can see it. All right, moving into Generation 7. Kicking it off with their normal types. Um, yeah, they they definitely exist. They definitely exist. Welsh out here just snatching the shinies. Just snatching the shinies. Um, fire, honestly, Litten kind of Litten kind of goes hard. It does kind of go well. Salazzle shiny is really cool. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Salazzle. Water type. Um. Ash Greninja, obviously. No. Um. I don't know. Hey, there's Golsapod. Golsapod. Gols. Golsapod. Who we were talking about earlier. Um. Arachnid. Arachnid is really cool. I really do like the purple and blue. Yeah, we'll go Arachnid. And then we'll look at our grass types. Where it's... Gosh, I'm actually going to be hard-pressed when it comes to starter. So I'm going to lock in Rowlet here because... Actually, hmm. But I think they're they're also ghost type. The I can't remember the, the stupid anchor name Pokemon because it only it has like a 1% uh, appearance rate in uh, Sun and Moon and then I think it moves to a 5% encounter rate in Ultra. Delamese, yes. Uh, but I think it's a really cool design as well. Uh, but I love Rowlet so much. Rowlet might come I well, Rowlet might make an appearance for flying. So let's lock in Delamese for now and move on to Electric. Um, <sighs> Zayora is so cool. Zayora. Zayora, no doubt. Ice. The only Gen 6 Ice type. Um, fighting. Um, which I think they'll win Dragon. Because I don't know of any other Gen 6 Dragons off the top of my head. Are there other Gen 6 Dragons? No, they'll win Dragon for sure. Spoiler alert. Drampa? I've... I, well, yeah, it's Drampa, but Drampa's just there. Turtner, yeah, but they're just there. You know, they're just there. They're just they're just existing. I think it is Buzzbull. I like I like the, the the neon green coming in. I think it's really fun. Poison. We could drop Slazzle here and go back to fire. Ha. Huh. Huh. Ha. Polypol. Polypol is really cool. Especially because, you know what, thinking about it, because they're normally purple, and the white with the gold aspects is cool. Ground. Um, why in Gen 7 is, is Zygarde still making an appearance here? What are you doing here, Zygarde? What are you, what are you doing here? Um, let's go with... Um, Nagandel is also Dragon. Oh, you're right. Let's go with Polisand, because I actually do kind of... I like that shade of gray. It's really cool. Flying. It's Rowlet. It honestly could be Minior if you could actually normally see Minior, but you, you can't normally see Minior. So it's it's not them. It's not Minior. Because you can't easily see them at all times. Hey, I'm making the move early so you won't miss anything as we move into Psychic. Um. I don't know. 
This Tapu is really cool. Which Tapu is this? They gain forms in Gen 7. Zygarde did? Ultra Necrozma. Does go hard. Tapu Lele. Let's lock in Tapu Lele. Bug. Buzz. Buzz. Honestly, I do like Galzapar. Zygarde did? What forms did he get in Gen 7? Remind me, because I've clearly forgotten. Rock is Lycanroc. Lycanroc is just really cool. I like their color. I think... Or, uh... Not like rock. This is like rock. Um, ten percent and one hundred percent didn't exist in Gen Six, did it not? Huh. I j I just assumed it did. Weird. It was just Zygarde. Wow. Yellow Minecraft Ghast. Um, no, it's got to be Breath of the Wild wins. Um, like and rock got rock rough. Rock rough is its name. I think rock rough is a, a prettier shiny. Um, for ghost. Um, I wish it was Mimikyu. I really wish it was. I really wish it was. It's not, though. Because I think Mimikyu could have such a cool design, being like its whole thing is being like a shopping bag. And it just isn't. It's, it's just, it's, 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 it's not it. Um, Delamese could drop in here. Let's drop Delamese in here. Let's go back over here. Let's change Delamese here to... Is there a different flying I want to do? There is. I actually do want to go to Tucana. We'll go Rowlet. And then we'll go Poison. Or we'll go Dragon. Drampa's cool, but I like I like the 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 pop of of the pink with the gold scales. I think it just looks good. Guzzlord isn't bad. Guzzlord isn't bad, and that's why I think it'll get the win here in uh Dark. For steel? Huh. For steel. I think it might be Sigalio. But also in its old when it, in its form with Nakrizma is also really cool. Which do I like better? Like the bright red or like the light pink? I think I like the bright red because I think it just it, it just it's it's very pop. Uh, for our fairy type, I think it's gonna be another Tapu. It's gonna be one of the other Tapus, I think, for sure. Let's go with Tapu. Um, Bele, Bule, Magnernia. They're okay. They're okay. They are. They are okay. Favorite starter. Um, we didn't lock in. Which it's. I'm gonna be honest. It's not my favorite starter, but because R Rowlet's my favorite starter. But I think we're gonna lock in um, Litten here. And for gimmick, what is this gimmick? What is this for Mel Metal? I've never seen this make an appearance anywhere. Um, Ultra Necrozma, for sure. Um, or no, that wasn't favorite. No, yeah, and then my favorite legend is that's G Max. I've never, I, I guess, I've never seen Mel Metal G Max. That's wild. Favorite legend of ones we haven't already picked, or if we decide that they are the best, we could go back and change where they were uh, picked at originally. Huh. Maybe Lunala? Yeah. Sigali, Lara, Ringnarni. Ringnarni is. Hmm. Specifically, this one of their Pokeball form, which I don't. I think. I don't think you can actually get shiny, right? I don't think it's even possible to get it shiny, so we aren't even gonna. We're gonna ignore it. We'll go with Magnarnia. Our favorite Gen 6 Pokemon. Shiny. Yeah, but you can't get the po you can't shiny hunt the Pokeball form, can you? Because that's just a gift Pokemon you get for getting all uh, what first seven generations into Pokemon Home. That was a rough cough. 
you can't get it unless there was an event. That's what I thought. Um, favorite Gen 6 Shiny? I think it's Zayora. I think Zayora just goes hard. I think they do. Alright, we are getting very close to the end. We got two generations left. And we gotta pick our overall favorite. Let's go Generation 8. Normal type is... For Emerson. And also because I think the colors are really fun is Obstagoon. I think Obstagoon has some really fun color. Um, I think it's a very, very pop. The teal is good. The red is good. I'm a fan. Fire type. Um, I honestly, I, I wish Score Bunny went a little harder. I do. I wish all of these went a little harder, honestly. I really wish they did. I really wish they did. We'll lock in Cinder Ace. Move to water. Um... Urshifu, I think this is rapid form, is really good. A lot of bad fire type shinies. They really are. They really are. Uh, let's, let's lock in that for now. Grass. Again, not a lot of great shinies, so we'll go with the green apple. Electric. Again, Gen 8. Gen 8 doesn't have a lot of great shinies. Doesn't have a lot of great shinies. Like, what's going on here? What is this? Reggie, Alecki, they look no different. Toxel it is. Ice type. Snob is another one that line. Like, why do you look no different? Pink Eskew. Fighting type. Huh. Oh, that is the G Max. That is the G Max. You're right. That is the G-Max. Let's go Choodle, because I want it to be Pokemon that you can actually hunt. The blue does turn to white, which is really cool. Um, so here's the thing with Surfetch. I love that Surfetch turns gold, which Galarian Farfetch'd and normal Farfetch doesn't do. I wish it's Sword and Shield changed colors as well. I think that would just, like, solidify it as being a cooler shiny. But comparatively to these other fighting types, I think it's the only one that, like... Fully, at least, itself changes to another color that I think looks cool. Poison. The G-Max always turns blue with Rapid. Oh, does it really? Even non-shiny? Oh, well, it looks cool. Uh, we'll go with Toxel. We'll change our electric here to... I guess this one. Those are that's just those are just sad. All of those are sad. Generation eight makes me sad with these shinies. Like what is this? This is this is such a letdown for generation eight. I don't want to shiny hunt generation eight at all. Corvzanite is is the best. You mask. It just doesn't look any different. It just doesn't look any different. Fairy type. Right? No, Psychic type. Um, again, like, what are we, what are, what, what's happened here? What, what's happened to make Gen 8 so sad? Um, Adarim, Boog, Hisuian Bravery. I'm trying not to choose, even if it's earlier remakes. I'm trying not to select them if I don't have to. Um, Cleavor. Cleavor is cool, but at least it changes for like the brown, but all of these, you know what, actually, it's, it's you, it's you, it's you for sure. Rock types, this is just such a disappointment. Orbeal, yes, I could not think of their name, thank you. Um, now we got fairy type, or ghost types. Um, it's Dragapult, it's, it's easily Dragapult here. Dragapult just looks so, so cool. Then we got um, dragons themselves, which we could actually lock a Dragapult into here. And we could change Dragapult here to... Sinistee, honestly, I don't hate. I do like that it goes to a different color. I, I didn't know it's shiny was like this pink glass or a teacup. I actually do like that a lot. I actually do like that a lot. Um, dark type. Um... 
was there a better normal type we could choose and we could move Obstagoon there into something else? No, there wasn't a better normal type. Actually, let's go. The the, the Black Wooloo is really cool. And then we'll lock in Obstagoon there for our Steel type. Uh, Clarion Meowth, honestly, I don't hate. Not great. Not great options. Go with Perserker. Fairy. Um, we will go with... Uh, another one. Another of the genies. None of the genies really got good shinies. None of the genies really got good shinies. Zacian? I think it is Zacian. Just like looking at everything else. Like, the, really the only thing that changed here was the color of their eyes. So let's go Zacian. Favorite starter, um, which I do like that it does include the uh, Gen 8s. Um, it is. I, I I think Inteleon looks cool. You like Grimstarl? Grimstarl is also nice. Favorite gimmick, which is where we get all the, the G-maxing and Dynamaxing. Um, perm, perm. I don't know. Because none of them are great options. G-Max Snorlax for reasons? No. Awful. Awful. I don't even think it's listed here, is it? I don't even see it. Am I blind? No, G-Max Snorlax even on, isn't on the list here. Um, History and Bravery is also good. At, mm, let's go Grimmsnarl. Let's do that. And our favorite legendary Reggie Drago does actually look a little bit different, but it's not enough. It's not enough for me. Zamazenta. And then favorite Gen 8 overall. For me, it's easy. It's it's so easy. It's it's Dragapults. There's there's no other there's no other option there. Alright, our final generation. Kicking it off with the normal type. Um, I think it's Lechonk. Lechonk is just so silly. So, such... Uh, you wouldn't expect it to be a pink pig. So lovely. Um, fire type, they really dropped the ball on Armor Edge and Surl Edge. It makes, me, it makes me so sad how much they dropped the ball on the two of these. They should have just swapped their color palettes. That, that would have been the easiest thing to do there. And, and they, they just didn't. They just, they just didn't. Um, is not the star. I feel like I, there hasn't been many starters, shinies that like genuinely make me go, yes, that's so good. Gouging fire is the coolest, but you can't even get it because it's shiny locked, even though it is by far the coolest here. Um, so we'll lock it in. Maybe, maybe this video will make them unlock it. Um... I do like Palfin. I do like the purple comparatively to the blue. Um, Don Dunzo being a giant gold um, dragon, wa like watery dra false dragon behemoth is incredible. Um, or hero form Palfin is also real nice. Or we could go Wug Trio. We could, but we won't. We could, but we won't. Okay. Toad Scrolls Evolution. Actually, honestly, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Electric. Palmont. Um, Ice. All of these kind of look the same. It looks like they gave like the same shade to all of them. They're all just, except for you. You, you were just the only one who's different. Um... Let's go Citadel, Citadel, C Titan, C Titan. That's his name. Um, fighting. Also the best option here, but is shiny locked. Uh, also the best option here, but is shiny locked. Um, that's that's so silly. Yeah, let's choose it. It's the best option. Um, for sight or poison. None are really speaking to me. Glamora? Yeah. 
ground. Okay, so we could lock them in here. And we could change Toad's rule over here. Not that there's a better option over here to lock into. Hmm. Yeah, just I, I, I think what we're learning from this is there aren't a lot of shinies that I love. Which does make me sad. That there aren't more exciting shinies. That makes me so sad that there aren't more exciting shinies. Um... Let's, I, uh, what, I can't remember their name. Iron, not Iron Threads, um, because that's their, this is Iron Threads. Whoever you are, because I do like the shiny. It is, it, it does look good. Um, Great Tusk, yes, Great Tusk. All of them, the only thing that changes is the color of the plumage, and I think their beak is a different color. That's not good. Flamingo, not good enough. Um, I wish Kill Watch Roll was a little bit different of a shade. But I think it might just take the cake being on it's the only thing that really is good. Although, actually, this monochrome Bombardio, actually, monochrome Bombardio kind of goes hard. Psychic, once again, let down. Once again, a giant let down. Um, Giraffe Rig, or, or, or what's its evolution? Giraffe, Graphife, Graphife, something like that. I do like the change here. I wish the body was a different color. But I do like that bit there. Bug. Spide Ops. I said it when we were playing through. For Afferig, that's what it is. Um, Spide Ops, I think, is, is a cool shiny. Um, while I don't love them as a Pokemon, I think they they have a really good shiny when compared to other uh, when compared to other rock types. Um, I'm blanking on their name, but they exist. They exist as a Pokemon in Generation 9. Cloth, yes, Cloth. Uh, once again, Pokemon 1000. Why didn't you make Pokemon 1000 your coolest shiny? Please, oh, tell me why. Oh, tell me why. Fluttermane. Um, for our dragon, we are going... We're going Roaring Moon for sure. Um, for our Dark, we are going King Gambit. Um, for our Steel, actually we could lock in King Gambit here. But no one else here is really cool. Um, Orthworm, I do really like Orthworm. I don't like them as a Pokemon. Just because I, I don't love worms, but I do love the, the coloring here. I think is really neat. Fairy. Dashbon. I, I wish... I love Dashbon. I wish their color was better. I, I really do wish it was. Tikatan, the only thing that changes is their hammer, right? And that's the only thing that changes color. Um, is there anything else for Fluttermane here that we can change into? No, not really. Orthworm is cute. I just don't like worms. I just don't like worms. Um, favorite starter... Mm, none of them. Quaxley, I think, is the only one that actually looks a little bit different. I mean, their red is a little bit different. Skeleturge is there. Like, both of them are too muted. I feel like all this the entirety of the Generation 9 starters are too muted. Like, why weren't they more bright and in your face? Or what I think would be really cool for a, a set of starters is you just rotate them one place. Like, take the three of these. Meowskarata should be... Uh, Crack, cracks these colors. Skeletor should be... Like, just, just rotate them to their weaknesses color scheme, right? Like, imagine Charizard is just Squirtle's colors. Squirtle is Venus... Or Blastoise is Venusaur's colors. And Venusaur's is Charizard colors. I think that'd be kind I think that'd be kind of cool if just their shiny was what they were weak to from the starter trio. I think that would kind of be cool. Um, favorite gimmick? Um... Wug Trio. Yeah, I mean, Wug Trio, I like the colors there. Favorite Legend Dairy. All of them are shiny locked, so you can't get any of them. Sorry. You can't do it. You like that idea? I think it'd be kind of, I think it'd be kind of fun to see. There's, surely someone has had to have done it by now, where you could see what it looked like instead of just trying to visualize it. I'm sure someone's done the art for it. Um, there better fighting type here. 
Shiny Mudkip. Yeah, we're talking about all these shinies, and shinies just appear. All right, what's our favorite Gen 9 shiny? Looking at these... I mean, again, it's it's the one that's shiny locked. It's 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 uh, cried on, but it's shiny locked. So I think I think it might be Roaring Moon, Cloth Earthworm, or it could also be King Gambit. I really like King Gambit's color scheme. No, the shiny mud clip kip fled. Sad days. Lechonk does also hit hard. Yeah, I'm locking in King Gambit. And now it comes to the scare. We're locking in what was our favorite shiny? All of the normal types. These I think we're going to go through so quick. It, I, it's easy. It's Ditto. It's Ditto by by far. All of, it's Ditto. Fire types. Um It's Litwick. Water types. It's Politoed. Grass types. Trevenant. Electric. It's Electric or Zayora for me. Electric. Ice. Ha. Aha, 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 aha. Honestly, Snow Run. I like the color. Um. Fighting. Halucha. I uh, poison. Sviper. Um, ground. Flying on. Flying. Corvus Knight. Psychic. Starmie. Bug? Oh, wait, move it over? Shoot, 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 shoot. Sorry, I was too in the zone. I was too in the zone. Um, Bug? Motham. Um, Rock? Rock Rough. Ghost? Chandelure. Dragon. Haxorus. Uh, dark, right? I'm saying the wrong one, right? Dark. Oh, wait, I... Oh, no, King Gambit. I was like, wait, I picked King Gambit twice. I picked it as our favorite overall. King Gambit. Er, uh, I almost said Earth. Rock? Or Steel? Oh, my gosh. Um, AG Slash, Fairy, Sylveon, Starter, Swampert, Gimmick, Glade, Legendary, Mew. Favorite overall shiny. My favorite shiny Pokemon. This is so... I, so let's, let's talk through these favorite shiny Pokemons of which ones I actually have shiny so far. Shiny Mew, I have it in Pokemon Go. Um, it's a perfect Mew, 100% IV, um, and I've best friend it. Um, I, I, I have it. I wish I could shiny hunt it in game, but there's only one legal way to shiny hunt it outside of the Pokemon Go, and, and I, I will never have access to that Emerald event that allows that. Um, Espeon, I have. Saviper, I don't have, but I really want now. It's really cool. Toxicroak, I'm like 90% sure I have. Haxorus, I have. Halucha, I have. Zayora, I have. Dragapult, I have. King Gambit, I don't have. I want. Ditto, I have in Pokemon Go. Litwick, I have. Politoed, I don't have. Trevenant, I don't have. Electrek, I don't have. Snowrunt, I don't have. Flygon, I have. Corvzenite, I have. Starmie, I do not. Motham, I do not. Rockruff and Pokemon Go. Chandelure, I have. 
Ag slash I don't, but I really want to hunt that because the entire line looks really good. Uh, Sylveon, I'm 78% sure I have. Swampert, I have. And Mega Gallade, I technically have because I have Shiny Gallade. So I have almost all of these of my favorites of these broken down as uh, I do have a Shiny. <clears throat> I think... I think it comes down to just... Here, here's where we're going to lay back. I love, I love the Mew. But let's go, what do I think is the most exciting when compared to what its original form looks like? What is the most exciting shiny in comparison? I think we lose out Dragapult for that. I think we kind of lose Litwick for that. Quarves of Night, because it's not that... It, it's different, but it's not that different. Um... Oh my gosh, I don't know how I choose here. It might be... How Luch I do really like. I think its color scheme is really fun. Sylveon I also really like. I think it is very different. Let's go Halucha. That is our favorite shiny Pokemon. Generations 1 through 9. All of our favorite shiny Pokemon. Now we can also go down here and go like in-depth stuff. But I feel like this is kind of stuff we already kind of talked about and discussed. Um, so we'll just click on these really fast just for the sake of clicking on them. Uh, but I think for the most part we kind of really discussed a lot of these throughout. I think actually Rattata does, goes, does go hard. Favorite Mythical is Mew. Regional Bug. Of these options, I think Krikatot does really well. Ultra Beast. Guzzlord I think is the best one. Pseudo Legendary. Um, yeah, Paradox. I think the best Paradox Shiny is the ones that are Shiny Locked. Move it over. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. Um, let's do Roaring Moon. Favorite Pikachu clone, Shinies. Pachirisu. Eeveelution. It's Espeon and Sylveon for me. I just love the green for Espeon. Favorite type? Oh, I don't care. Favorite Pokeball? I don't care. There's not shiny po Pokeballs. Favorite fossil? Um, Archaeops. Favorite regional form? Um, Zeora. Gigantamax. Favorite Gigantamax is Lapras. Favorite Al Creamy, it doesn't matter because their shinies all look the same. So it doesn't matter. Favorite new Evo. This is a this is an evolution that was added. Say like Crobat, Zubat, and and Goldbat were introduced, and then a generation later, Crobat was introduced. Um, so that's what these mean. Um You know what? We'll lock Sylvie on here. And favorite baby... Mime Jr. Favorite Spinda? That one. That one's my favorite Spinda. Hey, we've done it! It took us basically the same amount of time that it took me to rank all my favorite uh, Pokemon originally. About an hour and 40 minutes. YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, come join us uh, over on the Twitch live stream to see this stuff happen in real time. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite shinies are from each generation. Let me know which ones I got wrong and which ones you refuse to agree with me on. And uh, if you actually do dig Shiny Survivor, because like it kind of goes hard in a way I didn't expect it to. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.